Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, try and put a well, try and have an understanding of what's going on. So put a big number into here and into the end here. So let's let's put a big number, ten to the power of ten. So uh, so this thing here will be will be a natural log of ten to the power of ten. Uh, well, we we can bring this down. So so it would be this. It would be ten log ten. So it would be ten log ten, and then uh, put put ten to the power of ten. Into this n here, so that will be uh, that will be natural log of uh, two times ten to the power of ten. So here you've got one thing multiplying another thing, so that's the same as natural log of two, uh, and then plus uh, natural log of ten to the power of ten over uh, over this thing here. Hang on. So now we we can bring this down here, so that would be that would be uh, ten ten. 10 log 10. So so now th this is like a small number, and these two are, are pretty much the same. So you, you should have a hunch that it's uh, well, these two are exactly the same, and this is going to be uh, eventually it's, it's going to be small. Um, well, let's 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 make this even bigger. Let's let's make it as uh, uh, 1000 to the power of 1000. So this would then become uh, this would then become. Uh, will then become. Hang on. This will then become uh, one thousand, um, one thousand uh, natural log of one thousand, and then over. And then you've got your you've got your natural log here, natural log of two. And then here you've got one thousand plus one thousand uh, natural log of one thousand. So these two are exactly the same, exactly the same. And then you've got this tiny bit here. So so you can see that it's heading towards um, towards one. So let's let's just prove it. So so let's let's just look at this. So let's just look at this. Uh, so it's you trying to find the limit of um, of this as n tends to infinity. So uh, as as n tends to infinity, this bit here is going to head towards infinity. This is going to head towards infinity. You've got an in indeterminate form, so you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this thing here because if I were to ask you to differentiate this, uh, if I were to ask you to differentiate two to the power, so two two n, you would imagine it as a bubble. So it's going to be it's going to be one over the bubble, and then uh, times the derivative of the bubble itself, which is two, which is this two here. So anyway, differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Tidy this up. Uh, tidy this up. It will be two n over two n, which is well the limit of this thing here. Is, is going to be one, so you so you can see it's heading towards one. Okay, so next question. So find the limit of this as n tends to infinity. So this is like a small number to the nth root. So uh, so find the limit of this as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, so to do this, visualize visualize this as being two uh, not point two four to the power of 1 over n because the, the nth root the nth root you, you can always write it as to the power of 1 over n now when you have something when you have something to the power of another thing in your mind think about logs so um, so let's just say the limit of this let's just say the limit of this as n tends to infinity is y um, let, let's, let's just say the limit of this is y so it, it is a y that we're seeking which is the same as this thing. So, so we're we're trying to seek y here. So from here, from here, take the natural log of both sides. So, uh, so natural log this, natural log this. This will come down here, uh, and then you've got your natural log, natural log, that small constant, small constant. So now, um, now this gets multiplied to the top. So that will then give you this. Don't forget, this is a a constant. And as n tends to infinity, the denominator here will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, the limit, uh, you, can, you can see that the limit here is going to be zero. So, so the limit will be zero. Don't forget, it's natural log of y equals zero. It is a y that we're trying to seek. We're trying to get y on its own. We, all along, we were trying to find y. All along, we were trying to find y. So, uh, so hang on, we were here. So, so from here, 
exponentiate both sides that will then give you this and then uh, in a way these two cancel each other out giving you the y and this here is 1 so so the limit is 1 okay